Hi, this is Dr. Wooten. In this presentation, I'm going to go over the interactive statistics dictionary I'm building. I just figured out a better way to build the network. So I'm rebuilding the structure of the terminology, and then I'll add back in the interactives. So we'll see the interactives at a later date. Let's look at the networking structure I've created. So what I've done is on each page, I have a page maker. The page maker will read the scene to know what word is on the page. Then you can add as many link terms as you want. And when you run it, it will create a button for each of these. So it gives the definition of the primary term. And then if you link to hypothesis testing, it will change the definition of hypothesis testing and switch hypothesis to the primary word. Now these didn't change properly because I haven't gone through all the terms and set up the linked functions yet. Um, where I've, I started alphabetically, let's see, risk is, yeah, let's go back. The network works very well. All I have to do is input the information. So let's go ahead and fill one in. So the last scene I edited was bias. So we're on box plot. So it knows its primary term is box plot. So what we need to tell it is that for a box plot, we want it to link to quantitative. It can also link to histogram, the other graphic for a quantitative measure. And since I can only think of two, what I'll do is tell it I only have two for now. So I can always add additional terms to this later, and eventually I may say where it comes from and what it leads to and separate the two concepts. But for now, since I have all, I believe there's, let's see how many terms there are. I have 196 terms and concepts outlined in each scene. And so if I do add a new term, all I have to do is save this page as that new term. And the complete structure is set up. It'll read its own file name. It'll read its own scene name so it knows what definition to put. So when I play this, it automatically gives me what a box plot is. Alright, so uh, let's set up one more page. So we're on. So I've got quite a ways to go. Oh, I was building a human. This is not part of the terminology. The next one is categorical. Yes, I do want to save the changes I just made. So when we go to Page Maker, we'll change the terms to. Quanti or qualitative, and then we can also link to other things like count, and so some of these I'll change um, once I get a better handle on what the dictionary is going to be able to hold, and so the next one might be nominal. So what I have to do is go through each of these, and I can add more links if I need to and change all the terms. Alright, and so this is the most recent version which is very cool because it's got all the terms plugged in. We go and save this and let me show you uh, what it's eventually going to look like. It'll have interactive elements in each of the scenes. So let's go ahead and open a past project. So for example, let's go ahead and just walk through this one. I will dismantle what I have here, and so it will be more interactive as you see here. It will have the terms in place. Right now it just has the buttons and the links. Eventually, when you get to a term such as sample or sample statistic, it will give you the, the notation. When you mouse over the notation, it will also give you the definition, and you can also click on it and get the formula. So elements in this game. Or elements from this will be placed in the scene for each individual term and I can call up more than one scene at a time which means I can create displays that have both terms of variability and bias and then you can also add pages such as target practice so this one, if you click on it, you can turn on bias, and you can turn on variability. 
and then when you shoot the gun, to shoot the gun you can hit control V, I'm sorry, just V. And so it sprays its bias, so it's off target, and it has variability, so let's increase the variability, but reduce the bias. So now it's spraying around the target, but it's not very accurate. So these interactive elements will be placed within the, the interactive statistics dictionary. So that's what I have in terms of the networking text versus a linear text when written or printed.